All right, Sagittarius, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of June 22nd through June 28th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have your second chakra. Um, second chakra is sometimes called the sacral chakra. Um, I feel like this has something to do, this is where you store energies and you deal with things that have to do with like shame, remorse, guilt. Um, so I'm feeling like you feel like you've done something wrong um, and you're feeling some sort of remorse for it, Sagittarius. So I do feel like it's a feeling you have. I don't necessarily feel like it's something you've done. Um, I feel like it's possible it's something that somebody's told you you've done. I do want to mention we go, uh, Mercury is going direct on the 22nd. And we also have that Capricorn full moon on the 24th. Sagittarius, that Capricorn full moon is about responsibility. It's about making your mind up about something. You're going to find yourself grounding a lot, meditating a lot. Um, you're going to be, it's possible that this moon could have you feeling more energetic. Um, you're going to have more intense feelings that have to do with control versus freedom. Um, so I definitely feel like like that is what you're working on here um, I feel like it's possible someone controls you in some way Sagittarius that has to do with like your emotions or your feelings we are going to clarify we're going to use Queen of the Moon Oracle to clarify hmm. peace of mind All right, so peace. It's number 28. And it says peace of mind is one of the greatest gifts we can give ourselves. Refuse drama and do not freely engage with people who use drama as a weapon. Stop fighting. Allow yourself to rest for a while. When we let what we no longer need go, we make room for peace. Um, we do have that full moon. And I do feel like there's someone in your environment um, who's maybe has a lot of drama around them um, is trying to take your peace and is trying to make you feel bad about it, Sagittarius. All right, we're going to do our main spread from the Witch's Tarot. So let's see what challenge or obstacles you're facing this week that has to do with this situation. I feel like you're definitely needing to let something go. I see this ring around her, um, almost like the boundaries, um, almost like moon phases. Um, I feel like you're, this full moon is going to be very significant to you, Sagittarius. Like you're really going to let something go you've been dealing with a long time. I feel like it's possible this is a person in your environment. So King of Cups. Um, challenge or obstacle. King of Cups is someone who is like your mentor, um, your counselor. You trust this person. You can talk to this person about anything. Um, this card represents unconditional love. This card represents compassion. This card represents empathy. Um, but I'm feeling like it's in your challenge or obstacles because you don't have this energy. This is possibly this is what you're looking for, Sagittarius. Lesson already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. You have the sun. The sun is Leo. Um, so this could have something to do with someone who's Leo that's in your life. Um, but Sagittarius, I'm feeling like the sun is talking about like optimism, um, about being excited for your future, having joy, finding happiness. Um, I'm feeling like this is in the past. This is something that you had before, um, but clearly not dealing with that with this person now. For the outcome, you have the High Priestess. So Sagittarius, this can have something to do with your twin flame journey. The High Priestess is the bridge between the twins. She's the unknown, the secrets, the mysteries, the things that you have not figured out yet. All right, Sagittarius, we are going to clarify, and we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify. So for the King of Cups, I feel like this is someone that's around you. This is, you're trying to find this person. You're trying to um, have someone that you can feel that can be a mentor or a counselor. Someone you can talk to about your emotions, but you don't have this now. Mm -hmm. The Magician. So it's possible that what you have now is someone who's manipulating you, Sagittarius. Um, but I'm feeling like it's also possible that you're trying to manifest or create this person. For this sign, you have the Queen of Swords. Um, yeah, cold. 
Queen of Swords is victorious. Um, she goes to war and gets the things that she needs. Um, but I'm feeling like you're thinking like this happiness, this joy is hard to find. It's also possible um, that you are more in this Queen of Swords energy in your past. Um, like where you were more in control of, your, of a situation. Um, and now that's not the case. For the High Priestess, Three of Pentacles. So teamwork. So teamwork. So this tells me, Sagittarius, if you are on a journey, then your twin definitely comes in and gives you some sort of assistance this week. Um, it helps you in some way. Um, but if you're not on a journey, it could just say that this is someone in your environment um, that has a secret or has knowledge to a secret or mystery that you're trying to solve and they come in to work with you this week. All right, Sagittarius. Next, we're going to do Magical Times. These are going to be direct messages to you from Spirit about this situation. Change. You are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of this new day. Light and joy. Rebirth. Definitely. No matter what happens, you can find new wings, rise from the past, accept the positive change that is coming. Humor. Laugh at yourself. Lighten your heart. Let nothing steal your happiness. And I feel like if you are on a journey, that is what your twin is going to help you with this week. If you're not on the Twin Flame journey, Sagittarius, I definitely feel like the Spirit is just telling you to laugh at yourself. Lighten the mood. Anytime there's a death and rebirth, um, it can be a difficult situation, a difficult transformation. Um, but rebirth tells me you've done it. Or you're currently doing it right now. You got prosperity lies ahead. It's the new moon in Taurus and a new romantic cycle begins. It's the new moon in Libra. So super excited to see that and be bold and make the first move. It's the cardinal moon. So I definitely see some big changes. Um, like I'm going to take it. The answers you need are coming a full moon in Gemini. So definitely, if you're on this twin flame journey, I do feel Sagittarius like something is coming. Um, expect powerful changes was on the bottom. Keeps going. So Sagittarius, definitely a powerful week. Definitely a lot of energy shifting here. Um, definitely leaving something behind that maybe was not um, giving you peace of mind. Was robbing you from your peace of mind. I feel like that is what you're releasing this full moon. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe... Please like and subscribe.